if you are preparing the perfect meal for the perfect mom in your life, you're going to definitely want your table setting to look just as fabulous. Here with the etiquette tips you need to create a table setting masterpiece, event planner Frank Antonopoulos is here. Hey, Hello. thank you for having me back. So yeah. excited. I love that we're talking about mm -hmm. etiquette because it's such a forgotten it is. piece of our lives. It truly yeah. is. It's, it's a lost art. It, it truly is. is a lost yeah. art. So when I say etiquette, I'm going to read this because I want to get the definition correctly. Etiquette is a set of customs and rules for polite behavior. Yes. Okay. So that's really where that came from. And how did this all get started? There was a lady named Emily Post mm -hmm. who wrote the first <laughs> etiquette mm -hmm. book in 1922. Wow. And I actually have a 1940 copy, I guess, Ooh, again. Oh, that's very oh. cool. And then after she did that, a lot of other people wrote etiquette books as well. This now, is a very thick yes, book. Yeah, but look at, look at the new edition on the bottom. <laughs> on the it's bottom. even thicker. So. Yeah. Okay. But a lot of people would started writing books. There's etiquette for absolutely everything. Yes. Okay. Um, and you can get a book on absolutely everything. And you should get a book on yeah. a lot of this because it's such yeah. a forgotten yeah. thing. Yeah, and... Uh, the things are, that are acceptable and done in one country are completely different yes. in another country. So, right. And there's even a book for gay and lesbian manners, I which love it. I actually oh, was a contributor and helped amazing. with the wedding section, wow. of course. So, yeah. Hey, but today to go. we're going to focus on setting the great table. Okay. okay. So you could pull out your wedding china yep. or you could rent. So today I brought in stuff from Hall's Rental and BBJ Linen. Um, it's very, very involved. Now, rental companies carry a lot, but they don't carry everything. Okay. So okay. if you need a fish fork, they'll have it. Okay. But the bowl that's on top of the plate, do you know what that's for? Um, that's is a finger that bowl, finger? Isn't it? No. Washing? No. no. <laughs> Close. Finger bowl. Good idea. Finger that, bowl. that was a question okay, I put okay. on my on my. All right. Okay. Um, that is for bones for the fish. Oh. It's a, okay. bone it's a bone dish. It's a bone dish. So they don't rent those, but you can find them at flea markets all the time. Okay. So. Okay. okay. Um, and then there's so much silverware. I know a lot of people get confused yes. by the silverware. Yes. Yeah. Pretty woman. She counted the time. Yes. So yeah. it is a thing. Silverware is I a thing. I always heard you just start on the outside and work your way in. You are correct. Ooh, you start yeah. on the outside. Okay. But when you're setting the table, what goes on what side? So I've got an easy trick. Okay. Okay. Fork is a four letter word. Okay. Uh -huh. Left <gasps> is a four letter, is a four -letter word. word. Okay. Knife and spoon is a five letter uh -huh. word and right is, is a, a five, five letter, letter. That's word. a so great that's one. That's a really good trick to nice. learn how to do that. So you would start on the outside, work your way in. But then the you only, throw the, it off when there's stuff at the top. But the only <laughs> exception to that rule, the, the left and right, is the cocktail fork, okay. which is used for oysters or, yes. or a fish dish. I know what and that, that fork And is. that goes on the side with the knives and the spoons. I have looked everywhere to try and get an answer as to why. Oh, I no have idea. no idea. Mm. So, okay. It's but a, what about the spoon and the fork at the top? Well, that's going to throw everyone dessert. off. Dessert. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. your dessert course there. And then you also have your uh, butter plate with your butter knife, not okay. to be confused with. The butter Amy spreader. Can yes, to this, I just the got all my mom's spreader, silver. Butter. Which is what you would use for <laughs> buttering your bread, put this back on the communal butter and pass it over. Yes, I didn't realize that everyone had their own butter knife and then the butter spreader would help. Yeah, I was getting very confused. Yeah. I'm like, why do I have 14 Yeah, of these? there's a difference. The yes. knife looks like a knife and the butter mm, uh, looks like a spatula. Has, has like a so little spatula. my issue comes while eating the meal because if you have a piece of protein and you're using the fork in your left hand and the knife in the right and you're cutting, you're cutting, you're mm -hmm. cutting, and, and then, then is it okay to like set the knife down and then switch the fork to your right, right hand? Yes. Supposed to do. That's it's okay. the American way of doing yeah. it. Okay. When you're eating on the European side, you would use both and you never take them out of your ah. hands. So you would just keep continually cutting and eating and cutting and eating. Okay. So. Okay. And then also let's talk about plates because there are several plates and you know, there's, if you're getting fancy, there's a charger involved right. too. And so. that is a charger okay. on the bottom and then that's your dinner plate. Okay. Now you would have a separate liner for everything else, bringing out your soup mm -hmm. and your salad and that would just go on top the dinner plate. Uh, in very fancy restaurants, the charger will be there, and as soon as you sit down, they take it away. Oh, okay. I don't know why, but the, I, okay. I'm like, if I'm running chargers for I'm my a, clients, I'm gonna we're going to leave it there until <laughs> right. I possibly can. But it should be, etiquette states, it should be cleared for the entree. The entree should go on the table. Okay. Now, okay. Frank, when you sit down, do you then immediately put the napkin in your lap even before food shows up, or yes. do you wait till food? Oh, you should wait okay. till everyone is seated. Oh. And then, and then what do you do with the napkin when you get up? Um, you put it on the chair? On the back of the chair. Okay. Very good. <laughs> I thought it was the, the bottom so of the chair. Know. And then you've got your glassware. Now you've got your red and your white. So the red wine is always a whiter bowl uh -huh. than the white. And then uh -huh. you've got your champagne flute. 
and then you've got a water glass. glass. And then you also have a cordial, which is for after dinner for a cordial or mm. port or something like that. So that is all preset. What you don't set on a formal dinner table is the cup and saucer. That comes out when you bring dessert. Oh. Now for a lunch, this is set. So again, there's different etiquette, etiquette for, for different, different meals. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And then you can even go as far as your fork and knife placement if you're done eating, if you're not done eating, if you want dessert, if you don't want dessert, if you want coffee, you don't want coffee, Correct. all that. Yeah, and you just say no thank you, you know. Well, yeah, okay. for that. <laughs> you know, if they come in with coffee, because not everybody drinks coffee. I am a coffee holic. Yeah. I drink it all the time at home. What's the so. best thing to do if you sit down and you've forgotten all these rules? <laughs> easy, easy solution. <laughs> Look at what your neighbor is doing. And, copy them. <laughs> and hopefully they know what they're doing. Right. So, <laughs> and, great. And then lastly, just a thought on, on centerpieces, since that's what I do, is do a variety and do, a, a, do multiples. So that way, at the end of the meal or the end of the night, you can give them to everyone oh, who's here. Oh, really? so, I love happy that. Mother's Day. Thank you, Frank. And happy Fur <laughs> Baby Mother's <laughs> Day. Because that counts. We have dog free to you. So. Okay, Frank, and that design, you saw the social media handles yes. on the website. Frank, as always, fabulous. Thank, fabulous. You. Thank you so much. Great to see you again. Great to see you too. Such a gentleman. Mm -hmm.